Hi guys, I'm Emmy Lou and I'm an artist and I'm going to show you how to do a unicorn today. I'm going to show Julia and her crew and obviously everyone else who's watching. Feel free to subscribe and like. I went to the Belvedere Gallery in Austria because I'm in Vienna at the moment and I saw lots of Klimt's work. He's called August Klimt and he's not alive anymore. But he did some amazing paintings, so Google him if you can. And um, I thought we could maybe incorporate that in our background. So as soon as you've done the unicorn, maybe do some weird, kind of cool designs in the background. Almost mystical. Okay, let's go, let's go with the unicorn. So the first thing you need... First thing you need is just do a line. Just a line on the top. So, paper pencil, let's go. And then you're going to go, touch that bit there and go wee. It's important to go wee with the line. It's very hot today, it's 34 degrees. Woo! Okay, and then you're going to go, touch that bit there and you're going to go wee. And then once you've done that, you're going to create that's almost like, um, uh, like an arrow. You're going to go wee. And then once you've done that, you're just going to touch that bit there and go like that. That's the mouth. It's a little bit like Stegosaurus, a dinosaur. And then after you've done that, just touch that bit there and just do a line down. And then you're going to take this and do a shape that goes like that. So it looks a little bit like a hot dog, maybe. And then once you've done that, you're just going to do the jawline, so you're going to go not too high up if you can um, because you don't want to do it so it's kind of really thin then you're going to do you're just going to touch that bit there it, the unicorn's kind of like moving its head so just touch that bit there and you're going to go down all the way to the edge of the paper totally looks like Loch Ness Monster then Touch the middle of the smile, and you're just going to go like that. So I don't know if you can see now, but it's going to be turning its head. Okay, once you've done that, you need a nostril because it needs to smell. So you're just going to go... We can't do a nostril. Think of it like... Think of it like that. That's all it is. It's like an oval. So once you've done that, you're just going to do a nice eye. Now the eye has to be up here somewhere. So we could do a cartoon eye and any eye you like. But mine's going to be just a simple eye. So I'm going to do a rainbow. And then I'm going to do wee, like a U shape underneath. Looks a bit angry, my one. But we can do triangles. So we can just go like that. So if you watch my other videos, I think we did it for the lion. The triangle of the eye. And then we can just do a nice pupil, just like that. And then if you want, you can do that. But you won't see much of him because he's going to have a mane. He's going to have loads of hair. So once you've done that, now what does a unicorn have? A horn. So we're going to add the horn in. And it's probably going to go about kind of like there. You can do a real big horn. You can do a chunky one, whatever you like. But to make it look rounded, I normally just... Kind of go over it like that, so it's okay to go over the actual line because then it makes it look slightly more realistic on the unicorn, if that makes any sense. So once we've done that, we're going to do the ears. So one ear is going to go about there. You can't draw an ear. Think about a triangle like that. So that's fine. And then you're going to do another little bit that goes there. So if you've done the triangle, you're going to go like that. And then you want to do the other side of the ear. So it's kind of like there. It doesn't really matter too much about the other side because you probably won't see it. I'm going to get my mask and tube. Right, once you've done that, you need to do the hair. So the mane. Now because it's... What should, what, what should we call the unicorn? Magic. Because the magic... Because a uh, magic unicorn needs um, to turn his head. It's going to be like this. So I'm doing like rainbows, overlapping rainbows. It kind of reminds me of spaghetti. I don't know why. Then when we get to this bit, we're just going to do nice 
mane. It's like, think of it like fire, because it's zigzaggy for the mane, for the hair. We have to rub out a few things, believe it or not. So where I've put my masking tape, if you can rub out. So we want to rub out whatever's in the ear. And you kind of, I think it might be nice to rub out the line that's near the mane. So kind of like, bleh, because then you'll be left, whoa, you'll be left with the ear. And then you want to see the mane and not the line. So it might be a bit tricky if you're a bit small, but give it a go. Give it a go, it's all you can do, isn't it? Right, so you'll see the mane like that, and because he's swishing his head, this will probably go like that, but he's got a body, so it depends. You could do, I think that's his body. You could do some hair coming down. It might not make any sense to you because he's got... His body that's coming down there. Actually, it's coming down there, isn't it? Ah, my pen's running out. Maybe don't do the background because I'm just thinking we need to do all the bits of Klimt once we finish. So just do the hair and then we'll go on now to the colour in it. Now you can have any colour you like for the unicorn, any colour you like. So I'm going to pick a pink. And I'm just going to do like we did with the every other animal that we've done before. We're just going to outline it. So I'm only outlining the face and around the hair and the ears. So once we've done that, we can just smudge away. So you're drawing around, but you're also blending as well. And then we can have a bit of fun and create a different colour hair. Let's do blue. Let's do blue hair. So I can colour the whole thing. I could do two blues if I liked. Obviously my masking tape's quite annoying. If you want him to have um, the hair coming down, then that's cool. You can do that as well. Okay, we could mix up the blues. And then smudge with one finger, just one finger, just la 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 windows coming open with the wind. Okay, then we want to take a black, take a nice black, and you want to colour the nostril in, and go round the eye. And then that bit there. Probably go round that bit as well. And the ear. If you want to outline, well, if you want to outline the face, you can, but you don't have to do it in black. You could do it in um, a red, maybe. Something that could outline it. And that's quite girly now, doesn't it, Marla? If you, if you, <laughs> you could do it a different colour if you don't want pink. Okay, then we're going to do the horn. The horn's a nice one. Let's do a red horn. You could do like a multicoloured horn. It'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? Let's have a look. I don't think David Shepherd, the artist, um, did a unicorn. Probably couldn't find one. But um, I'm sure he did horses as well. Make sure you Google him and have a look at his work. But... As I say, August Klimt did awesome background. So once you've done that, you can try and do the body, which I kind of want to show you, but I'm kind of thinking it might be nice to do a weird background. So after you've done the face and everything, you could actually do a strange background that incorporates cool swirls, and you could do hearts, and you could do... You could do just zigzags or lines. Try and look at the uh, pictures. Like the swirls are really cool on that. And then you've got yellow. It's like gold. You could do the background of you know different colours. So you could take your time and do a really cool background. 
And because of the chalk pastels, you can smudge it off, uh, get one finger and just draw over the line. But you want to make sure it just looks really colourful. Not to take away from the unicorn. Make sure it's all coloured in so then the unicorn stands out and it's really bright. So don't leave this white. Uh, don't leave... Uh, don't leave that bit white. Maybe colour that bit in. So you've got like the whole unicorn show and it'll look cool. Cool. -wise. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and like. And I will see you next for the, what am I doing for the next one? Oh, I've just drawn a blank. Shark, we're going to do a shark. Okay, well, I'll see you then. Bye. Happy drawing.